why do I have to do this every single month? This is this like anger and this like annoyance. And now I'm just like, this is a normal human thing that happens to me. We're denying our biology, which as everybody has mentioned is incredibly cool and complex. And by the way, you know, it's required for the human species. Hey, we can't even do this thing in terms of procreation unless we have a menstrual cycle. I have to not shy away from my body. I have to embrace my body. I have to be very connected to my body. And that's something that so many women are taught not to do. At 18, did I really know that like halfway through my cycle that like ouch I was feeling was me ovulating or did I think it was just like some random pain? It's just all kind of labeled down there. As excited as I am, I also see so many young girls who don't see it as anything powerful, just see it as a nuisance. No, this is a really powerful, cool thing. You have like an ancient connection to like anyone who's ever had a vagina has gone through this process. Claiming period power is for me a process. When I started using tampons when I was a teenager, I was a rebel. I don't think I started using tampons until I was well into my 20s. It's so funny when you look back at school and the idea that we were all going through this, we all had to keep it a secret for what? And it just, it really frustrates me. If we can educate ourselves, there's a lot less confusion. Trying to help girls evolve in a way that gives them a lot more confidence. When you reference being in junior high and no one's talking about their period, the likelihood of everyone being on their period at the same exact time anyway, could have been an amazing supportive community in building sisterhood than anything that we didn't take up. Yeah, we were right? talking about it. Try to talk about periods as, as often as, as possible. I'm all about shouting it from the mountaintops. If you need a tampon or a pad, here they are. That just goes back to the power, right? And it's the conversations that will help to eliminate the, the dark and the ignorance and the, and the shame. So I really commend this campaign. I think Tampax has done an incredible job. I was really excited uh, to partner with a company like Tampax who was gonna say like, hey, there's nothing shameful about this. Let's help you out because not everybody's getting this information. These conversations, I mean, are so important and I'm just wishing that someone was having them, but I didn't grow up during a time of social media or access like this. But just seeing that I was a part of a larger group of people, I think would have been really exciting to me and I would have felt uh, so much more empowered. The work itself is helping me to become more powerful in this conversation. You realize how much someone's period can almost control their quality of life then realizing as an older woman how so many other women struggle, you know, with infertility or issues up and down with their menstruation gave me a deeper appreciation for the cycle. I realized that I had super period power and I stood in my period power when I walked into a drugstore and I bought my, you know, tampons and there was a really cute guy behind me and I didn't care. And I was just like, Okay, this is what's happening. Yeah. So there's, there's to my, there's to my. Where? What I've learned is when we talk to them before it happens, like well before it happens, they accept it and they actually are a little excited about it. I hear girls all the time saying, "I can't wait to start my period." Like, when am I going to start my period? I think it can be something they look forward to if we talk to them about it early enough realizing the connection that I had to my body and the connection that I had no choice but to have while using a tampon was really important. You know, using a tampon is metaphoric for having a relationship and connecting with your body. You never know what you're being vocal about something like this is going to impact. It could impact a woman much younger than me or much older than me. You know, there's a connection to knowing and understanding your body and feeling confident about your body, which is why these conversations are so important.